Big Viper coming to you from El Pastor. It's actually the first time I've been here, you know, this is the uh, ESC hangout. And uh, my kid just played a game right across the street at Riverbank Park. So we walked across the street and what do we find? Hanging out here at El Pastor. The man himself. The great Yusuf Corrales is here with his beer, of course. And I ordered mine as well. But we're here, it's match day. It's a Sunday, you know, I can't believe it's a... a, a bit of an honor, honor I, Yeah, exactly. Sunday at 7 o'clock match. Well, well, it's made for television. I guess. Television young. Young. Massive, massive picture. As every picture is. It's massive, massive. Yeah, because, you know, I was thinking about that. Like, yeah? yeah? Every game is massive this year if we're really going to go for it. Exactly. You know? Mr. Baca wants to win the Supporter Shield. If that's the goal, then, yeah. three points We must win every game, bro. Yeah. I mean, not that we will. Exactly. But... But These are games you have to win. Exactly. Home games, you have to win. If you can get away with a, with a point away, all the better. Right. You know, but home games must be three points. Well, I mean, we're playing 17 home games this year. Yeah? You need to win like 14 of them. Exactly. Thank you very much. So, as I was saying, a massive, massive picture. Rebels against Chivas USA. You know? Yeah. Rebels top of the East right now. Top. And Philadelphia dropping off with more times. <laughs> yeah. Like. Two nil yesterday, I guess. A couple Eastern Conference draws. Yeah. Kansas City got stuck. We need to pull away from everybody. Pull away. Pulling away from the pack. That's right. the name of the game right now. And, you know, and then we have to be mindful of what's going on in the West if we're going for the Shield. Exactly. So, um, oh, I, I did not give you your, your proper introduction. You suck her out. I'm begging you. Give me your comment. Oh. Well, uh, you know, as you, you may have my uh, prediction on the website was yes. a massive, epic goleada. Yeah, I, it, I saw that six or seven nil. You know what, though? I mean, it might be a slight exaggeration. Yeah. And, you know, I know I was reading that, like, okay, we haven't had a good training session. Hold on one second, because not. I forget where I was. Oh. Okay. Oh, so, yeah, I'm uh, predicting an epic goleada. Yes. Look at this team, man. Yeah. It's like Andrew Boyd is your first choice center back. Yes. He, he's not even playing. Our guys, I, whether we've had good training sessions or not this week, I know it was a fucked up week. Okay. We should still, like, run through that. Listen, one can only hope. Yeah, one. However, as Thierry Henry pointed out, they've only had one training session. Uh, that's, I know. For this week, you know. I know. I, I, I mean, I question the wisdom of playing, like, Montreal. Montreal. But you know what? That picture was was done like before even the season started. Yeah, I, I know. I know. Uh, look, I will get the three points. We should. I, we should. Exactly. On paper. I mean, half the, I don't even know who plays for Chivas. Like, uh, like Andrew Boyens? And, and that guy uh, from like uh, Sueño. Oh, yeah. Uh, Jorge El Sueño <laughs> Flores. <laughs> right. And uh, I think they do have also... Um, Alejandro Moreno, who killed us at MLS Cup. True. Yeah. Yeah, he's very fit. <laughs> Zach Thornton's on the roster, although uh, he's not. He? Yeah, he is, but he's not. Uh, he's that guy Kennedy plays. Yeah, right? yeah, he plays uh, first choice. Yeah. And uh, the, that Argentinian guy's not playing. After Mondaini that. guy yeah. after that horror tackle. Wasn't as bad as uh, Mullins, though. No, you know what? It was not. However, he was not playing the ball at all. Dude. No, but he was playing the angle. Okay. <laughs> Correct. Yeah. However, Mullins' challenge was like made no, no. in a fit yeah. of rage. Mullins' challenge, he threw his whole body. It was not a challenge. It was it was an assault. Exactly. It was an assault. If you did that on the sidewalk, yeah, you would be taken to, to prison. Right. Yeah. And charges charges, charges would be brought up. Felony assault. Exactly. You know. But there was no intent to play the ball. <laughs> Guys were freaking like complaining that it was like, oh, too much, you know? <laughs> He's lucky he and was not arrested. Exactly. Man. And exactly. I, and I'm, I'm one for good hard tackling, yeah. man, but. Get in there, son. Get stuck in, son. <laughs> but you see him. His whole body, yeah. You no, know, but you see him. He feels he's fouled, yeah. looks at the referee, arm shoot out, steam comes out of his ears, wire comes out of his eyes, and then at a full sprint, he launches himself straight into the guy. Yeah. And then the most sickening click I've ever heard. Click. 
I was, I was, I wasn't, I was, I had the game on, and then I, I but I was on my computer too, yeah. and I heard this like fucked up noise. Yeah. And it was Steve Zaquani's like. Uh, yeah, it was Steve. No, next year Steve Zaquani being put into a cast. Exactly. But um, and all the news this week. I, I mean, DC United, man. Listen, losing their two forwards, man. Yeah. Right. And that and uh, Kevin Payne making the statement. End of the year. Oh, I saw that. Wait, wait. He said that Baltimore. It's viable. Is a strong, very strong, very viable option. You know? I saw that too. Ah, I could not help but laugh. Uh, I'm not supposed to take pleasure in that. <laughs> and I'm not. <laughs> and actually, I'm not at this point. Okay. Know? Well, you know what, man? Uh, I, I could imagine how it would feel like if we were in a similar situation. Could be them. You know what? I cannot imagine now because Uncle Dietrich. Would not permit it. Would not permit You know what? We are, you know what? I love the man for what he's done for this club. No one else would have put up an arena like that without any public funds. Look, I'm going to pay for it all myself. Myself. Dude, okay? And you get teams like DC United begging their local government. Which is never going to happen. For funds. It's never going to happen in this recession. Right. Okay? You know? you, yeah, nobody would do it for like a big sport. Exactly. Let alone Major League Soccer. Exactly. But you know what? Maybe they conned Baltimore into doing it for them, bro. The so, Maryland Stadium Authority. Yeah. Exactly. But you know what? And if you can get that done, you got to take it. Yeah, right. I just, uh, but uh, you know, like, I, it looks like it's coming to a head down there. Okay. Like, uh, yeah, so tonight, let's hope for a comfortable win, man. Yes. Hopefully Thierry scores, Zero gets on the board. Who knows, Luke Rogers again. And by the way, okay. we haven't had a chance to comment. Okay, go ahead. Luke Rogers, <laughs> you are a fucking legend. Thank you very much. I mean, come my, on, brother. My thoughts exactly. Come on, brother. <laughs> I, I cannot, I've never read an interview like that in all the annals of American sport. I'm talking over over 120 years of American <laughs> professional sport. I can see all Nobody has ever said that about another guy. I can, I can see all the rebel PR heads just like wanting to kill themselves after listening to that. <laughs> well, no, but... And, and Mr. Baca. Yeah. I love his reaction. Listen. Freedom of speech. Freedom of speech. Yeah. That's just Luke. That's Luke being Luke. Exactly. So, uh, yeah, these are my comments until uh, halftime. Yes. Uh, I guess I'll go with... Uh, Six nil. I'm going to have to stick with it. Six nil. <laughs> now that could happen. Well, thank you very much. Coming to you from El Pastor. The Big Viper saying so long for now. Thank you. Cheers. All right. And we're here at Cap Cafe of Sal. Pre-match with your pace to Tom Boss. The great Matt Conroy, a.k.a. Who Shot Sam. We're here with Kevin. We're here with Mary and we're here with Christian. So let's get to it, man. I already got Yusuf Corrales' uh, comments back at uh, El Pastor. Let's set it up with the great Matt Conroy. Please, Matt. Uh, you, Give uh, me your and, and Brian said 6 nil to the 6 nil, yeah. Right. He clearly had a few to drink, but... Uh, well, listen, he's... At every second of the day, right. he's had a few to drink. Right. <laughs> but, uh, I mean, I feel positive, obviously. Yes. He's played really well in L.A. without Timu Chaino, who's back. So I think we got our, you know, our first choice starting 11. Maybe a little bit tired because he played in Montreal in midweek, but... Look, Chivas, they're still like a rebuilding project right now. Okay. We should beat these guys handily. And I'm saying 2-0. The goal by birthday boy, Wendy Rosario. Is it his birthday today? It's his birthday today. What is he, 34? Uh, I'm not sure how old he is. 34, something like that? Or 32, I don't know. I don't know. So, no, no. And uh, I like the role Thierry on on right now, so I think he'll score again as well. So I'm saying 2-0, and that's a conservative... Uh, conservative prediction. Thank you very much. Tom Forrest, please, can you comment? Uh, I agree with Matt. I think we're looking at probably a 2-0 victory. Could go 3, but I want to hedge my bets. Um, I'm looking for uh, not a goal, but some more assists and uh, great work on the wing from Dane Richards. Sort of a unsung player, 
so far this year. He's been doing fantastic work getting the ball with yep. the strikers. So that's what I think. Thank you very much. Kevin, NYC Sports Map, please give me a comment. The 2 0. Yes. Nice to see Timo back. Yes. 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 Time. yes. Should be complete possession. Should be able to hold the ball most of the first half. We're going to enjoy halftime. Thank you very much. Harry, please. <laughs> no, no, no prediction from you? No prediction. All right. Christian, please. 2 0. 2 0? And what would you say that? Why? Expand on that. <laughs> Dwayne Dursar is not going to get a goal, he's going to get two assists. Okay. And, um, on the team. Thank you very much. Coming to you from Cafe of South, after having a massive Francesina. <laughs> oh, you know what? I did not get a picture. I'm sorry. Uh, Viper here devoured the entire French, uh, nearly the entire Francesina, which is like a, an awesome creation of cheese and meat and gravy and fries. So. Listen, I do not recommend <laughs> that more than once a month, okay? Maybe once a year. <laughs> exactly. All right, so then I'm about to finish my sagres, and uh, we'll see you at halftime. Thank you very much. All right, we're live again, bro, at El Pastor. And it's like pouring rain, man. <laughs> and, we're, I, I can't wait and we're here with Alex. You saw Corrales again? Yeah. We're here with Christian. And we're here with Martin, right? Hey, hola. Thank you very much. <laughs> you saw Corrales apparently has something to add. Well, Thank you, Corrales. I just need to do one thing. Okay. But, uh, yeah, leave that in, please. <laughs> but, uh, Whatever that means, guys. Uh, nobody needs to know. <laughs> but uh, hopefully this monsoon ends. Listen, I got to get into Red Bull Arena. It's like <laughs> over there somewhere, man. <laughs> somewhere in that. In the general monsoon. direction, yeah. <laughs> but you know what? If we have to walk in this monsoon, we're going to get soaking wet, bro. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to have to take my shoes off. <laughs> Loyal, loyal soldiers yeah. in Red Bull, we will. It's the sacrifices that we make. We have a certain time limit. Like, there's no... We have exactly. To go. We have to go. Like, in the next 10 minutes, we, we must go. <laughs> <laughs> All right, folks.